A dense network is difficult to explore. One solution is to explore it by using graph metrics, such as degree or clustering coefficient. Here we have a splum of these metrics, where brushing, linking, and selection can be performed. Here we have a single row of the splum. We will select some nodes of interest. We can then draw lines connecting corresponding nodes across scatter plots. When the scatter plots are rotated around their y axis, we obtain a parallel coordinate plot. We can also rotate in 3D around the x axis. We thus have a hybrid of scatter plots and parallel coordinates. This hybrid behavior also works in the full matrix. We call this hybrid a parallel scatterplot matrix, or P-SPLUM. We can again select a node, draw connecting lines, and change the ordering of dimensions before rotating the complete SPLUM around the y-axis to transition to a parallel coordinates matrix. We can also rotate around the x-axis, and even around x and y at the same time. Different orderings of dimensions are possible within the piece plum. With the standard plum ordering, the connective lines are all axis aligned because the dimensions are repeated within the rows and columns of the matrix. Rotating to parallel coordinates is not useful with this ordering. A more useful ordering of dimensions is the doubly Latin ordering, where each row and each column contain each dimension once, and the plum still shows all pairs of dimensions as scatter plots. Also useful is the singly Latin ordering, which avoids redundant scatter plots within each row, but is less useful for rotation around the x axis. Our paper discusses the trade-offs of these different orderings in detail. Our system also allows scatter plots to be arranged in a staircase, with each dimension shown once. This requires less space than a full plum. We also developed the Flowviz menu to quickly select the dimensions to use on a scatter plot embedded within the menu. Brushing and linking can still be performed. A hotbox menu can be popped up to invoke commands. Here, a force-directed layout is applied to show that the linking in the Flowviz menu follows the positions of the nodes. The selection of the x-axis is made by an outward gesture and an inward gesture selects the y-axis. We can also scrub over a dimension's name to see the transition between scatter plots. Holding down the shift key allows multiple dimensions to be selected, which are then accumulated with a principal component analysis and projected onto the x or y-axis of the Flowviz menu scatter plot. Our system also supports attribute-driven layout. A scatter plot is superimposed on the network. The dimensions for this scatter plot are chosen using the Flowviz menu. We can see the quick flowing gestures used to select the x-axis by moving out and the y-axis by moving back in. We can use force directed layout. and go back to attribute-driven layout at any time. It is also possible to mix force-directed, attribute-driven, and manual layout. We can gain more insight into a dense network, like this biological network, with the combination of attribute-driven layout and the Flowviz menu. In all, we have demonstrated these hybrid techniques, the piece plan, the Flowviz menu, and attribute-driven layout that can be used in concert or separately.